Good morning everyone, this is me again, Sir Alan. And for today's lesson, we have determining subsets in a given set. Okay, so but before we proceed to our discussion, I would like to say hi to my former students and to my students. Hello guys, I love you all. And to all my YouTube subscribers, hello. And please do comment below uh, for shout outs for our next video tutorials, okay? I hope to see your comments out there. Okay, so let's talk about subset first before we, we determine how many subsets we can form in a given set, okay? So subset. Subset is being formed from another set. So ito yung set na bubuo galing sa isang set din. So, yun tinatawag na subset. Examine our given examples. We have set A and set B. Set A is N, S, and A. While set B is N, A, T, H, S. As you can see, every element of set A is also an element of set B. Right? Your N, S, and A is present in set B, which is N, A, T, H, S. So, N, A, and S. So, present siya dun sa A. So therefore, set A is a subset of set B. So yun yun. Kasi yung element ng A nandun sa B. So therefore, ang A is a subset of set B. So in symbol, we have A is a subset of B. So yun po yung tatanda natin guys in symbol. A is a subset of B. Okay. There are words to be remembered. The proper subset. So, in proper subset, guys, proper subset siya kung kung merong element sa set na wala dun sa element ng isa. Again, it is called improper subset if there are elements in set B that is not present on the other set. So, merong element dito na wala doon. Tama ba? Very good. Meron, meron. So, in that case, our element, our elements there that is not present in set A is the set, the element T and H. So, since meron siyang element na wala doon sa isang set, that is called a proper subset. Okay? Proper subset yung A. So, A, A is proper subset of B. So, ganun. Kasi mayroong element sa B na wala sa A. So, therefore, that is a proper subset. Okay, next is improper subset. Take note that every, sub every set is a subset itself. What if the given set are examples here? Our A is N is A and our B is N is A. Your A is a subset of B in this case, yes, because they contain the same element to the other set. But they are equal. As you can see, they have this, exactly the same element with each other. So therefore, they called improper subset. Yes. Meron kasi, yung element kasi ng A, ng set A, is it also an element of set B, which are exactly the same, the same in number, or they are equal set. So therefore, ang tawag nila doon is improper subset. Okay? I hope you follow, guys. So yan. Then lastly is the superset. So superset naman guys, look at our given set there above. Your set A is set B. As you can see, yung set A galing lang sa set B. Tama? Okay, good. Since yung A galing lang sa set B, yung set B is what we call the superset. Copy. Kung saan ang galing yung mga subsets, doon, 
tinatawag na superset. So therefore, in this case, our B is the superset. Set B is the superset. Okay, so why is set B the superset? Bakit? Because yung element kasi ng subset, galing lang sa kanya, nandun lang nang galing. Okay? Yes. So you have to remember this, that every null set or empty set is a subset of any set. Ano daw? <laughs> yung empty set or the null set is a subset of any set. Okay, so in symbol, yung empty set daw or null set or null set is a subset of any set. So therefore, in this case, the B, the set B. Kung anong merong set, yung empty set nun is subset niya. Okay? The empty set is a subset of any set. Please take note of that. And every every set is a subset of itself. Okay? Take note that every null set is a set of any set. And every set is a subset of itself. Okay? Good. Okay, now let's proceed to determine how many subsets will be formed in a given set. So to determine subsets in a given set, use this formula, 2 raised to n. So where n is the number of the elements in a set. Okay? So, ito formula natin, kung saan yung n natin is the number of elements in a set, or what we call this one, the cardinal. Bibilangin lang natin kung ilang elements meron ng set. Okay, so... Let's try example number one. Given set A, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So set A, the cardinal is 4, right? The cardinal of set A is 4. So by using this formula, so 2 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 4. Just substitute the number of the cardinals, which is 4. So 2 raised to 4, by simplifying this, we have 2 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 2 multiplied to 2. So our answer is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, 8. n times 2 is 16. So therefore, there are 16 subsets in given set A. Okay? How about number 2? Set B, X, Y, Z. So we shall determine first the cardinal. So therefore... Our n there is 1, 2, 3. So, meron tayong tatlong elements. And by following the formula, 2 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 3. So, simplify. Multiply number 2 3 times because it is being raised to 3. So, therefore, 2 multiplied to 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, there are 8 number of subsets will be formed in set B. Follow? Very good. How about number 3? So number of cardinals there, or the number of elements is 2. 2. So following the formula again, 2 raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 2. Follow? Good. So therefore, 2 raised to 2 is 4. There you have it, our card our number of subsets be formed in number 3, which is set D, is 4. How about this one? Letter A. Tignan nga natin kung makukuha niyo, okay? So the number of cardinals there, or the number of elements, or the cardinal is 1. So therefore, 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. So there you have it, our numbers of subsets will be formed in set A, number 4. So I hope you guys follow our discussion today about subsets. And thank you so much for still watching my video at Alano TV Official. And 
please stay tuned for more videos.